Hi class, this is Linda. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the four ingredients for success that we're going to discuss this week. We're going to talk about self-awareness. Self-awareness is much more than just looking at yourself and saying, hey, I feel this way or I think this way. It is really knowing who you are, having your own awareness of your skills, your interests, your strengths, your weaknesses. Where do those things come from from you? Are they things you've developed? Have you got some skills and things that you've inherited or learned from others? Being self-aware helps you make the best career choices and life choices. One of the important things that I want us to touch on this week is self-determination or self-direction. Often students say, I'm here because my parents wanted me to be here. I'm here for my children. I'm here because teachers said I couldn't do it. I'm going to prove something to them. Be here because that's what you want, not for anybody else. Because if you're here for someone else and that motivation disappears, then what have you got left? You need to be in here because inside yourself, you know this is what you want and that drives your motivation. So then days when you're having a bad day, you can say, doesn't matter. I made this decision. I'm sticking to it. I am going to be successful. Self-esteem, what does that mean? A lot of times we think of self-esteem as liking ourselves or feeling good about ourselves, but it actually means how do you treat yourself? Do you value yourself? Do you see yourself as worthwhile? If you have something important in your life that you value, a person, a thing, you are going to treat that well. You take really good care of those things that are precious to you, whether they be people or items. And you need to take really good care of yourself as well. It's important for you to have that self-esteem that says, I am worth it. I am worth self-care. We're going to talk about that, I believe, in week two. I am worth this education. I am worth it. The last thing I want to touch on this week is positivity. Often we get down on ourselves if we fail or if we get a critique from a faculty member or a parent or a spouse or a child, we feel like we're a failure. Don't focus on failing or succeeding. Focus on mastery. If you are continually improving and you know that you are improving and you continually are trying to improve, have compassion on yourself when you fail. You can't be perfect in everything. Some of us would like to be, but we aren't and we can't be. So be kind to yourself and be positive about yourself. Have a good week one. I'll see you in discussions.